Welcome to the most toxic community in the automotive industry. Typically in the automotive industry, it's pretty straightforward when it comes to motors, welding, suspension, there's good, bad, it's pretty clear cut. But when it comes to this stuff, there's a lot of contradictions. After scouring the internet, balancing budget and quality, this is what I came up with. For cleaning, I got the Rust-Oleum Wax and Tar Remover. For the Rust Converter, I've never tried this stuff, but it's the Eastwood Rust Converter. And paint, I got Rust-Oleum 2X. Is this the perfect solution? Probably not, but we'll see if it works on 90 years of surface rust. I've never used a rust converter before, so I'm gonna try it on a couple different materials, like concrete, say you spilled it, paint, glass, cardboard wood, I don't know. We'll try it on a couple different items and see what it does. That took way longer than expected. Now, I get to clean it. get to try this out. It's like a milkshake. Oh. It says one coat, wait 20 minutes, and then second coat. And then wait 48 hours. All right. There she is. With the spray bottle, it went on a little too thick and I had some runs and it puddled up a little bit. So if you want a really flat surface, I do recommend applying it with a brush or even a roller.
I think it worked pretty good. All the products worked as advertised. The only thing I don't recommend is these spray bottles. At least for the rust converter, it, it didn't come out smooth and it, it blobbed up and had drips and it turned out pretty ugly. If you want even better results, definitely apply the rust converter with a paintbrush or even a roller. I'd love to hear you guys' process for painting a frame or dealing with rust. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know in the comments and maybe next time I paint a frame, I'll, I'll try those. So the rust converter won't damage the materials as long as you leave it on. But the second you try and remove it, it's gonna take any paint off or leave a stain. I got a bunch of it on the concrete on accident and <laughs> it's pretty stained.